Humeral shaft fractures treatment alternative. Usually when a patient suffers from a humeral shaft fracture, the patient will complain of pain and weakness of the upper extremity. Radial nerve palsy can occur in association with the humeral shaft fracture. The clinician must examine the neurovascular status of the upper extremity. Look for a wrist drop that result from radial nerve palsy, especially in fractures of the distal third of the humerus. Examination of the neurovascular status should be done before and after reduction of the fracture. The physician usually orders AP and lateral views of the humerus. The x-ray should include the shoulder and the elbow. Any deformity should be recognized and corrected. Most humeral shaft fractures will heal without surgery. 90% will heal with conservative treatment. Non-operative treatment is usually done with a coaptation splint which can then be replaced by a functional brace once the pain subsides, and then the patient can move the shoulder with the brace in place. Acceptable alignment can be obtained with or without close reduction of the fracture. Acceptable alignment is less than 20 degrees of anterior-posterior angulation and less than 30 degrees of varus or valgus angulation, and less than 3 cm of shortening. All these parameters are acceptable. Surgery is done for humeral shaft fractures if there is a vascular injury that requires repair. Surgery is also done for open fractures and if there is a brachial plexus injury. In multiple trauma patients, you can use a splint or a brace acutely early during the damage control period. However, later on, these patients will need fixation of their humeral shaft fracture. Multiple trauma patients always benefit from fixation of the humeral shaft fracture. In open humeral shaft fractures with radial nerve palsy, usually treat that by surgery, by debriding of the wound, exploring the nerve, and fixing the humeral shaft fracture. On the other hand, a closed humeral shaft fracture with radial nerve palsy is treated conservatively. Gunshot wounds, even these cases where there is radial nerve palsy, are treated conservatively with a splint and a brace and wait patiently, expecting recovery of the nerve. The coaptation splint should be snug, extending to the axilla and up to the shoulder. Weekly radiograph are needed for a period of three to four weeks. The physician may check the vitamin D25 level. Fracture usually heals between six to 10 weeks. Observe for loss of reduction. Observe for excessive varus or extension deformity. Shoulder abduction sling may be needed to correct the varus deformity. Varus angulation is common, but it may not affect the functional outcome. It may just have cosmetic effect only. If acceptable reduction cannot be obtained or maintained, surgery is usually recommended. Surgery is done in the form of iron rod or a plate 
Plate fixation is better for healing. It also have less complication and better weight bearing ability. We propose that if acceptable reduction cannot be obtained or maintained, we should not rush for surgery. Our novel technique for management of this humeral shaft fracture is to wait and check if the patient is making bone. This is an example of a patient with excessive varus, as you see in the diagram to the left. As we know, bone healing goes through several stages, the stage of hematoma, followed by inflammation, followed by soft callus, followed by hard callus, followed by remodeling. We intervene when the patient has unacceptable deformity of the fracture, but the patient is making a lot of callus. Usually, we intervene between four to six weeks when the callus is soft and malleable and flexible. Then we correct the deformity by manipulating the mobile callus and we use external fixation to maintain reduction of the deformity. The external fixture may utilize one pin proximally and one pin distally and occasionally we use two pins proximally and two pins distally. However, the construct of two pins external fixture is the one that I commonly use, one pin above and one pin below. We keep the fixture for four to six weeks, and by that time the fracture usually heals in an acceptable position. Thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.